Smartphones are expensive. Everyone who owns one knows that. For example, the current iPhone 13 costs around 3,399 or more if you choose for more storage or the iPhone Pro or Max. While the Android smartphone prices are comparatively cheaper, the average cost is still around 2,000 ringgit. And nowadays, Android phones can be just as expensive as Apple phones. Like if you choose a flagship phone like Samsung Galaxy S21, that can cost just as much as an iPhone 13. Now, I'm not here to compare which one is better. Everyone has their own preference and I absolutely respect that. Truthfully, our smartphones has become an important part of our lives. And the fact is, our devices don't last forever. Eventually, every few years or so, most of us will have to spend an amount of money to change our devices. And so when it's my turn to change my iPhone, which is an iPhone X that I've been carrying for about four years now, I suddenly realized over the years, I have actually spent quite an amount of money into my smart devices. So here, I'd like to share with you what are some of the tips I learned to save money when I change my smartphone. One, sell or trade in your old smartphone. If your current smartphone is in good condition, you can sell or trade it to reduce the cost of your new one. But I know some of you at home must be thinking, sell my old phone? Can meh? Got market meh? Of course, God. If you visit platforms like Carousel or Muda.com, these websites are usually where Malaysians like to go for second-hand goods. And you will be surprised how many second-hand iPhones or Apple products are sold there. Apple products do tend to have a higher second-hand value and the amount you receive depends on the make and the model of the phone as well as its age. For example, my iPhone X with 256 gig storage with 94% battery life in perfect condition can sell around 1,300. Imagine if I didn't sell that and just put it aside, I would have lost 1,300 cash back. And if you feel it's a hassle to find a seller, you can always do a trade-in. Many phone shops are willing to buy back old phones because they can refurbish the phone and resell it again. Even when you trade in a device through Apple or Apple authorized seller, you can receive a store gift or an email gift card in exchange. So you can spend that gift card for any other device that you like to upgrade in the future. But from what I have seen, if you want to get a better resale value, selling it yourself would be a better alternative. Number two, consider when to change your phone. To be honest, I love my iPhone X and it's still in perfect condition. And I think it can at least last for another couple of years if I take good care of it. But honestly, I know that our devices can only last for no more than three to five years. And the longer you hold them, the lesser resale value you can get. So when our government announced the extra tax relief of 2,500 last year, I just thought it was the right time for me to change to the new phone. Because with the tax relief, I can save around 500 ringgit in taxes. So it's like a discount for my new phone. And if I don't have a tax relief to enjoy, then I would usually buy my new phone only during big sale season. And according to internet sources, usually the best time to buy electronics is in November because that's when you have the 11.11 sales and Black Friday sales. So if you really want a big discount, then wait and shop around in November. Number three, consider changing your carrier. When you change your phone, you should also consider changing your carrier. Phone companies love to offer promotional deals like packaging a new phone with a two-year contract. But don't just change without properly considering the total cost because sometimes even when the phone they sold you is cheaper, but the monthly phone line could cost you more than you need. So do your research and calculate whether is it more cost effective to buy the phone directly or as a part of a contract. And you can also consider negotiating with your current phone provider, especially when your contract is ending. Because most phone companies do not want their customer to leave them and they may offer you some cheap deals just to convince you to stay. I hope you like all these tips that I shared today. Remember to give us a big thumbs up and subscribe to us if you like more money content like this. Thank you and we will see you next week. Bye!